of superpower. Now the day has become a focal point that is enhanced by the advent of social media and the ability for a wide variety of opinions from all corners of the spectrum to be given. They range from outright support to the opinion that supporting the troops somehow vindicates the policies of the government. I lost myself here. Hold on. Some debates from both sides got pretty heated as both sides reached into the bag of sound bites or sayings to make their point. In my opinion, however, both sides have missed the point. The volunteer citizen soldier is the backbone of our society. We are the world's most advanced and best trained soldiers, marines, sailors, and airmen on the entire planet. And we are all volunteer. Support of the men and women that choose to wear the uniform of the country should be supported. Their sacrifice and commitment to the Constitution should be honored and recognized by all citizens. But the people that should recognize and respect our service members above above all others and should be accountable to do so are our elected officials and our president, both of whom have fallen short, way short. To our members of the Senate and Congress, these men and women have names and families. They volunteered because, of, and because of this, they deserve to be used with the utmost respect and discretion. They should not be used as to fodder to advance some agenda, to line the pockets of a big military-industrial complex. They should be used only when the security of the nation is at risk, and then sent in with a clear plan of action and a goal to obtain total victory, not sent to a country that doesn't even like us, to die for people that can't or won't even fight for themselves. Honor them by taking the time to make sure that when it's sent into harm's way, that it is for the greater good of the country, not the greater good of some company that gains financially from the conflict. Ask questions about how the vice president can make $150,000 a year, but leave office a multi-millionaire many times over after sending our fellow citizens to a country that was no threat at all. For all of you that have bashed the vets and somehow are responsible for the policies of the government, I say to you, screw you. Shame on you. The party held the majority and the presidency long enough to do something, and they did nothing. And I'm pretty sure many of the lawmakers with the D made money off the war just like those with the R. For those who support our troops unconditionally with your posts and memes uh, or with flags in your front yard, I say to you, Screw you. You voted for those dickbags that openly pushed to go to war in Iraq at the time was absolutely a threat to no one. To both sides, do more than words. Help. Contact your local American Legion or Veterans of Foreign Wars to see if they need assistance in your area to serve our aging and disabled vets. Volunteer your time to send care packages to those that are overseas. Find out if there's a military family in your community and invite them to join you to ease their time away from their loved one. Donate money to services to assist those families. But most important, show your support by educating yourself on the United States Constitution. Then vote. Vote because you can. Vote because it's your right to do so and has been bought and paid for in blood. And get the lifetime politicians out of there so we don't have to send our fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, sons, and daughters over to fight wars designed to enrich a select few. Do that. Because a veteran is someone who at one point in his life wrote a blank check made payable to my country. For the amount up to and to include his or her life. Amen. I absolutely agree. That's a great, great blog. And we will be back. I've got some fat, fun facts. After these messages. Online auctions are great money savers if you can actually win them. Well, that's what BetThisBid.com is changing. Click your media player now to check out BetThisBid.com. The number of bidders is limited, and every auction has two winners, either a random or second highest bid winner. Get the hottest electronics, jewelry, and lots more, all brand new, shipped free at prices way below retail. Check out BetThisBid.com. We're sure you'll like your odds better at BetThisBid.com. 
Hi, now I know you hear Joe Rocks on their weekly restaurant reviews on Night Talk, 10 p.m. Eastern. And boy, these two like to eat. Right, boys? Well, here's something to review right from your house. Eat24. That's right, eat24.com. With over 25,000 restaurants for you to choose from when you're hungry. Many in your area. So review that, boys. Eat24.com. Click, order, and eat. Eat24.com. Savino Wine Preservation System is wine preservation glassware. Savino is an easy-to-use wine preservation system that allows you to enjoy your favorite wines anytime without waiting for an occasion. Open any bottle with confidence, knowing that you can enjoy the full original flavor of Tuesday's wine on Saturday. For more information, visit us at www.savinowine.com. Today's wine, tomorrow. Uh Uh-oh, I think I've been seduced. I went online to seduceme.com and I found the latest and hottest shoe trends. What makes me a seducer? I'm confident, classy, sexy, comfortable in my own skin. I'm a lover of shoes and style and I have a sharp eye for design. Seduceme.com is delighted and dedicated in selling the trendiest and most fashionable must-have shoes and accessories. Get Shaduce now. Go to shoeduceme.com. Welcome back in studio, Patrick Danger Davis and Frankie Calais. Whew, had to get that off my my chest real quick. Real quick, Jimmy. Jimmy needs a date. If you're a female between the ages of 28 and 38, armed radio at yahoo.com. Submit a picture and a quick bio. You could be picked to travel to Boston from anywhere in the United States via Greyhound bus. That uh, that's going to be closing soon, so get in there, get your time in there. I'm gonna have to get a new microphone cable. Okay. That's it's making me angry. It's okay. I don't like to be angry. No, me neither. I like to be happy. Me too. Be happy. <laughs> so comments, guys, hey, about I, what I just read I, there. Well, go ahead, Pat, and then I've got some little fun facts. <laughs> what do you got, Danger Dave? Dangerous Davis. Davis. Yes, it's the Davis. Non, the non-Jew. Hey. The non-Jew. Hey, nice looking beard, by the way. Thank you, sir. Are you going to keep it, or are you going to be no, like? No, I am. I am going to are, keep it. I'm are are to you going to be like the rest of the amateurs and take it no, off after no, November? No, no. I'm going to follow you're... by what your your son said. Um, next time, my um, place of employment decides to tell me that I need to shave my beard because. Um, well, there's more to the story. I act, basically I got I got some hair in someone's food, but it was because I got a haircut. It wasn't due to my beard. I'm gonna tell them I quit, and I'm gonna keep my beard. I'm so not gonna shave it off. So you're gonna be a man. I'm gonna be a man. You're gonna keep it like the, it's really kind of a go. I'm gonna grow it. I'm gonna grow it full on out. Awesome. Are you gonna get? Are you gonna get the uh, Nordic? Are you gonna get I'm gonna, Viking I'm gonna standard go like, like mine full or what? Odin. So you're gonna get Viking standard like mine? Yes, sir. So you're gonna have to get. I'm gonna the go oil. full Mike yeah. Allen. So you're gonna have to get the the oils and the. Yes, the stuff I can't wait to buy it. It's gonna be like ZZ Top around here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey, Basically. Hey, there's you know there's there's men that have beards and then there's women. I, I will say that um, <laughs> upon like using Tinder and stuff like that, I found that a couple of dates it was easy to you it was easy to get a date when I had a beard. Well, True it, story. It, it's, uh, Frankie, would you would you would you like a hairy man or a man with a clean shaven face that looks like a Actually, girl? Actually, uh, my ex husband, I I said, honey, grow. Would you grow a goatee for me? And he did, and I absolutely love the goatee. The goatee is my favorite thing. So, but a full Sexy. beard, a full manly. I'm beard. not saying I don't like beards. I'm saying the a goatee full is my thing. Manly Viking beard that doesn't do it for you. I'm saying I I would prefer the goatee. You want my honest opinion, but. It works on you. It doesn't work on everyone. What I'm going to say to, to ladies, uh, you have you have the ladies that like the clean-shaven guys that look like they're 12 years old. No. And then you have a full man with a full, full beard. 
And that's what I'm working towards. Full beard. Full beard. Shades of gray. Men are always about black and white. It's got to be a big old beard or nothing. Men just... Men. It doesn't hurt to go full beard. Men have beards. No, it looks good. It looks good. I'm going to put a picture of uh, Dangerous Dave up on the uh, on my website when it's ready. Right? Okay, do you want to hear, do you wanna I, hear some... Davis. Dangerous. Yeah. So Dangerous you, Davis. Yeah. Danger. Have you heard of the word brevity? <laughs> Things evolve. Move with it. Dave yeah. is just short for Davis, so dude. Dumbass Dave. Dumbass Dave, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Things evolve. That's how I got my name, Fra- Frankie, from Teresa. From so Teresa. Go there. <laughs> Hey, I, 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 we don't have enough time in the show to go down that rabbit no, hole. But, but go ahead. What, you you brought some stuff on your pad thing there. Right, no, I was just and you're at you're like, about. I got something to read. So let's let's have. I just I came across some facts about Veterans Day that I actually didn't know, and I thought okay. it might be interesting. So let's just hit it. Roll with it. This it's this, all you. this came from uh, Accurate Court Reporting. So the Court Reporters Association out there put this info out, and it's pretty cool. Okay, fun fact number one. And I'm not going to say fun fact every time. You're welcome. No, please do. Veterans, okay, fun fact number one. (laughs) Veterans Day was once known as Armistice Day. The term comes from an armistice between Germany and the Allied Nations on November 11th, 1918. Also known as the armistice ending on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. World War One actually ended on June 28, 1919, during the Treaty of Versailles. The first Armistice Day was acknowledged on November 11, 1919. Fun fact two. November 11 is both a state and federal holiday, and they say, quote, and yes, we are still open, end quote. I guess they were hoping for a laugh there. I didn't hear a chuckle at all. Fun fact number three. Hold on. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Go ahead. All right. The original idea behind the celebrations for this holiday was parades and public meetings and also a brief suspension of business at 11 a.m. This is true to this day as a number of parades are also held across America as well as speeches are given. Fun fact four, on June 1st, 1954, Armistice Day had its name changed to Veterans Day. This was due to the change in... Act 52 351, whatever code, da 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 da, approved May 13th, 1938, which made the 11th of November a legal holiday known as Armistice Day. The primary purpose was to honor the veterans of World War I, but in World War II, there were a great Im- in- immobilization of veterans, thus changing its name from um, of Armistice to Veterans. I didn't know that. Fun fact five. Disney. <laughs> That's awesome. Disney <laughs> made films for World War II. Of all things, Disney made the films for World War II for each branch of the United States government. Fun fact six. Appro- approximately 90% of Disney employees worked in the marketing of propaganda and training videos during World War II. Seven. Today, there are exists about 1.6 million female veterans. Go girls. Fun fact eight, between 1971 and 1977, Veterans Day was celebrated on the fourth Monday in October. It was changed back to its original date on November 11, 1978, due to President Ford signing it into law. Nine, Arlington, this is cool. This is cool. Arlington National Cemetery has on on veterans day every year to honor those who died during the times of war the ceremonies are held around the tomb of unknowns unknown soldiers at 11 a.m on a november 11th a combined color guard representing all military services executes present arms at the tomb what is present arms present arms present arms what is it it's a salute with a rifle there you go Fun fact 10, Veterans Day falls on the same day as Remembrance Day and Armistice Day in other countries. 11, there is not supposed to be... Hold on, what's number 11? You mean 10, Veterans Day falls on the same day as Remembrance Day and Armistice Day in other countries. Number 12 is? That was 10. Um, 